Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. It's a big weekend coming up at Santa Anita Park, and that is because the seventh race on Saturday's card is the Grade 1 Vanity Mile. The Vanity Mile will be headlined by none other than the champion mayor, Beholder. Beholder will look to win her second start of her 2016 campaign after a workmanlike effort off the bench. She's been training wonderfully. She drew the two posts. She will be ultra tough as always. I don't think she'll be beat. But she will face her toughest task in quite some time. And that will be because of the number one horse, Stellar Wind. The 2015 three-year-old champion Eclipse Award winner will make her first start of her four-year-old campaign. Yes, the rail is not ideal. And John Sadler's numbers off a lengthy layoff are horrible. But she still has tons of talent. And it's great to see her back in training. I look for her to be a little stronger down the road. The mile and, and the race off the bench will be a tough task for her. I think she may be able to be beat for second if you're looking to make a little money underneath. Other than that, we'll have a couple sprinters trying two turns. We've got Finest City, the winner of the Great Lady M, who did it in extremely impressive fashion for young trainer Ian Kroljak. This horse has shown quite a bit of talent, but doing but the two turns for the first time against the likes of Beholder and Stellar Wind is quite an ask. I think that this horse could fit underneath if she can get the distance, but beating Beholder, well, that would be something. We also have Lost Bus for trainer Gary Sherlock. Lost Bus was th third in the Great Lady M and won the Santa Monica in shocking fashion in January at a huge price. I don't know if Lost Bus can get the distance. She tried the two turns on the turf before, but never on the dirt. She'll probably be prominently placed, but can she keep going in the stretch? That remains to be seen. Then you have Simon Callahan, who entered two. According to Jeremy Balin, a blood horse who spoke with Simon right before I started this video, it is unlikely that she will go in this and that she, Taurus is likely instead to try the boys in the triple bend. That will likely leave Davina Comidia, a late runner for Simon Callahan and Joe Talamo. I think this spot is ambitious for that one, but maybe they're just hoping to pass tired ones late. That surely is a possibility with two sprinters and also one coming from off the bench. We shall see. I think she's a little overmatched. And then you have the all-star bub for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer, who always has an entrant in races like this. This horse also appears to be overmatched, but will try to pass tired ones late. So, not a great betting race as far as I'm concerned. Maybe a single beholder in the horizontals. Maybe you try to beat Stellar Win underneath for second. There's a chance that this the two sprinters could stop as well. So maybe you can sneak the Vina Comedia or All-Star Bub into the trifecta because they likely will not try to beat Beholder. I don't know, though. They just appear a little slow to me. I'm going to enjoy this one. I think Beholder is a standout once again. But at least they'll be, she'll be tested and probably not 1-9 to nine in this spot. So we've got a big weekend coming up next weekend at in New York with the Belmont Festival, Belmont Stakes, with Preakness winner Exaggerator headlining that. You got the Met Mile, but enjoy Beholder, enjoy your weekend coming up, and have a great one. 